So it starts off reading 12 less than twice a number exceeds four. When I wrote this, notice my 12 less than is not the first thing in the number sentence. Because the 12 less than is less than something. So what it's less than has to go first. I find that really hard to, it's confusing. We're used to reading things from left to right and we would expect it to follow that pattern. But do you guys see the sense that if I've got something that's less than, there has to be something that's less than in front of it? And what is it less than? It's less than twice a number. And we've said that x is our number. So we've got 2x, that's the twice a number, 12 less than it exceeds, that means it's greater than 4. Step three says use a distributive property to get rid of any parentheses. Do we have any parentheses or distributive up here? No. So we can cross this one out. Two X minus 12 is greater than four. Are there any like terms to combine? No. The 12 and the four are like terms as I just heard somebody say, but they're on opposite sides of the inequality the symbol. So we don't need to combine like terms before we go across the symbol. And now we're in a place where we can do some eliminating. But first, let's rewrite it. 2x minus 12 is greater than 4. We're going to follow these steps just as though it was an equation. When it says eliminate the constant term from the side with the variable using addition or subtraction, we basically are looking for what can we zero out. And what can we zero out here? It's the 12. Why the 12 and not the 4? Because it's on the side with the x and we're trying to get that x by itself. So we end up with 2x is greater than 16. The next step is to rewrite it down here. If you were solving this on paper, you wouldn't normally have to rewrite it, but we're just doing it to show in each space what each step is. Step six says cancel the coefficient using multiplication or division. By canceling it, we're finding that invisible one. And what are we going to use? We're gonna divide by two. 2 over 2 is going to give us that invisible 1. 16 divided by 2 is going to give us 8. And so that is our answer. x is greater than 8. I think before we solve step 7, we should go down and graph it. Seven, eight, nine. Don't make too fancy of a graph. I'm going to circle the eight, but not fill it in and go which direction with my arrow. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to have that graph in mind as we're doing our step seven. Check the solution by substitution. If this was an equation, we would just take that 8 and put it into what we had to start with. But what we have is 2x minus 12 is greater than 4. And what we found is that any number bigger than 8 should work. So I'm going to try 10. So I'm going to substitute x for, or 8, I'm sorry, 10. 10 for x because it's greater than 8. Are you all seeing what I'm doing there? I just picked a number off the number line. Why did I pick 10? Because 10 is easy to work with. So I'm going to rewrite this with a 10 there. 2 times 10 minus 12, we would get 20 minus 12 is greater than 4. What is 20 minus 12? 8 is greater than 4, and so this is true.
let's find the next inequality. It is right here, a couple of pages back. Negative nine times the difference of twice the number and three is greater than or equal to nine. I do have the answer here, but I want you to find this page and as a table group, try to find it and follow these steps and then you can come and um, we will go through this in a few minutes together. If you finish before I go through it, I 